All right, the next story we're gonna read is a short story. It's only a couple pages long. It's called Jenny and the Wolf. So let's go ahead and check this story out. Jenny and the Wolf. Jenny lived in a little cottage in the woods with her mother. They were very poor. Oh dear, we have no more eggs and it's almost time for dinner, said Jenny's mother. I'll run to the market, mother, said Jenny. I'll take the shortcut. She rushed out with her basket into the forest. Deep in the forest, Jenny heard a loud moan. Walking on, she made a shocking discovery. A huge gray wolf stood under a tree, crying. Please don't run away, the wolf said. Could you help me? No one else will. The wolf held out his paw. A large, sharp thorn was stuck deep in his paw. Is this a trick? Jenny asked. I've heard stories about wolves eating people. Your knowledge of wolves is out of date, sighed the wolf. Wolves don't eat people anymore. My brothers and I like to eat eggs with ketchup. The wolf cried again and looked at his paw. Jenny was inspired to help. She knelt down and carefully removed the thorn. The wolf gently licked his paw. Thank you. I will not forget your kindness, the wolf promised. He bowed and disappeared into the forest. Later, Jenny hurried home through the forest with her basket of eggs. Growl! A pack of hungry wolves appeared out of nowhere and blocked her path. What's in the basket? snarled one wolf. It looks like eggs, cried another. Where's the ketchup? asked a third. Then a voice roared. Let her go! The wolf, whom Jenny had met earlier, bounded down the path. This girl helped me when no one else would. He told the pack how Jenny had helped him. The other wolves moved aside. Jenny thanked her new friend, the wolf. Then she rushed down the path. When Jenny got home, she helped her mother finish cooking. At dinner, she told the amazing tale of the gray wolf. Jenny also shared the moral she had learned. Help others, and they will help you.